Hello everyone, my name is Jordan and today I have a new project I'm starting. Uh, this was, I don't know how I came up with it, I was shopping on Etsy and for, you know, printables, digitals, whatever, and I stumbled across a, like, bee specimen slide kit by my porch prints and I'm like, well, I don't really need a specimen slide kit because I have this die set by Sizzix that has the slide in it and it has the file folder and some other little bits as you can see I've got a file folder here and several slides um and so yeah I was like well I've been wanting to do a bee themed project ever since my handmade envelope video because I was so disappointed I didn't get to use my bee washi tape um because I did that one bee themed envelope but uh so I've been wanting to do something bee related but I wasn't really interested in buying that particular digital kit. So I looked at what else my porch prints had for uh, bee themed digitals and I ended up getting their Busy Bee Ephemera Pack, I think is what it was called. I will link it in the description. But so it came with a bunch of stuff. I cut out uh, some items, um, some of these. And I, and then I don't know, I was like, yeah, I can make, cut out slides, and then somehow I thought of making, like, a booklet with the slides in the file folder, and somehow uh, putting these in here, what am I doing? Yeah, something like this, and this will kind of like, I'll, I'll sew them in, right, and this will kind of flip. It'll be like a little booklet, and you'll be able to flip open the slides back and forth, and we'll do some stamping, and and yeah. So I cut out the slides just with some brown cardstock that I had, and then the file folder I cut out of a piece of scrapbook paper from Vintage Memories by DCWV. I just used this in my last video. Um, so, and then, so I cut them out, and I inked around all the edges with Ground Espresso just to save on some time. Um, I also cut out a bunch of other little tiny bits from this die set, and I also cut out a couple of the smaller, a few of these tags from this set, um, and a bunch of these, a few of the little pieces from these. So I'm using a little bit of all three of these sets. I believe it's like, is it the collect Collectors, or, nah, I don't know, I don't know what the set's called, but these three, I'm sure you've seen them before. That's my idea. We'll see how it turns out. And but so the first thing I need to do is so I was kind of looking through all of the digitals of this kit. This is by no means the whole kit. There was like 10 pages worth of digitals that came with this uh kit. And so I pulled out some that had bees on them that were roughly, you know, the right size for our slides. And so I still kind of gotta decide what I want to use. This fits. Um, and then I also picked out a couple of flowers because I thought I'd do two bees and two flowers. So that'd be our four slides, right? Something like that. So I'll probably use these, but I still need to decide on the bees. I have these four bees that are the right size. This one's slightly too big and it's almost, it's like hand drawn. So I feel like this one's just not realistic enough. So, um, but then we have these, which are like just barely the right size. Um, we have this one, and I don't know, I, I'm kind of leaning towards the two black and white ones, just because they kind of match, but they're different at the same time. <laughs> I don't know. So maybe these ones, huh? So I'm gonna have to cut, where is my ruler? I should just mark it a little and I can erase this later. It's gonna be a little outside those lines so I have enough space to glue it on. All right 
right, so we have our four slides, and then I want, let's see. So this is gonna be the inside of the folder, and I think it'll be this way. So I want a bee and a flower, but they're gonna kinda be, oh, how's this working? I need them alternate. I need a bee and a flower, and I need them to be like opposites of each other, I'm thinking. And then, yeah, I want them kind of alternating here. So this will have a bee and nothing. Yep. Oh, wait. Uh, is that how I want that? Because there's nothing on that side. Or maybe, what am I doing? I don't want both bees. I want, ah, oh, whatever. I don't think it matters. Obviously, if you flip it up, you'll see both bees, but that's okay. And then a flower. Yeah. So I'm going to glue these together. Okay. Now, because these are going to end up being folded, I'm going to let them dry, and while those dry, we're going to decorate the, maybe I'll put something down on top of them too, um, we'll decorate the file folder, and I'm going to set these off to the side, and then we'll do some stamping and decorating on these as well, and then we'll put it all together. Um, I think these are going to be really cute. So, I need to put these under something. Okay, the file folder. So let's start by, so I think if this was in a journal, you know, it, it'd probably be like this. I'm, I'm, I'm thinking at least, I mean, you could put it in a folder this way and then have the tab sticking out, but, well, is that how we want it? Which orientation do we want to decorate this? It kind of matters. <laughs> um, I suppose if you put it in a journal like this, you could also tuck stuff behind it. You can make it into a pocket. Hmm. Or like this, and then you have a tab sticking out. I'm just gonna, I'm gonna decorate it this way. It, I don't have a journal to put this in at the moment. So that's the other thing I need to do. I really, I ha I'm going to be making a journal at some point, um, for sure. Definitely. Um, once again, I'm using a lot of these, they're called like vintage fussy cuts. This is also from my porch prints. I've been using these a lot in my videos lately. Hmm. Something like that might work. Oh, I, I can't forget my bee washi tape.
something like that. I think so. I finally invested in a larger uh, vintage photo in the Distress Oxide this time just because um, I'm really interested in getting into messing around with mixed media and playing with like water and Distress ox Oxides and maybe doing some of the, getting into some of the backgrounds that people create with Distress Oxides. So I'm really excited to yeah try that. So I, I needed I needed it in an oxide anyways, plus I use it a lot, so it's just nicer to have a bigger, a bigger one. I love bees, they're so cute. I mean, you know, not in real life. <laughs> Images of bees are really cute. Do I want to do any stamping? Should have glued my washi tape. Someone said that. Someone recommended that to me to put glue on my washi just to give it a little extra stick. Let me pull out. Got Nature Finds by Creative Expressions, and I have Field Notes by Mr. Tim Holtz. What? What do we want? Oh, I should have, like, stamped before I put that washi. I mean, I still could. It's washi. It'll come right off, right? Hmm. I'm thinking. Specimen. Right here. I guess I could just use any little scrap piece of paper. And ground espresso. Come on, get in the middle. see what that looks like. Okay, do we want something here? Maybe just filed? I think that's good enough. Okay. Okay. So this is going to be here. Also, someone recommended that I try scotch glue sticks. So I bought that. And it's a big one. I don't know if this is the, they were like, I don't know, they all kind of look different. Or there's a few different ones. I don't know if they're really the same thing or what, but this is the one I got.
Oh, shoot. No, no, no. I was going to put that under. Oh, it's not too late. It's way further down than it was before, but that's okay. Quickly. And then this was going to go, like right there. There we go. There's our cover, or the front, whatever you want to call it. That's cute. I like it. Yeah. So now we need to decorate the inside. So I was kind of thinking, so I have some of these that are roughly the size and just kind of lining the inside and then maybe we can put some. I really like this one, you know, plus like, okay, so this is a file folder. It's got specimen slides in it. So maybe, and these are like little wooden hives. So maybe this is like a sketch or something that someone put in here. You know, they're studying bees and flowers and I don't know. I'm just, I'm making this up. Um, ruler. So I think I definitely want to use this one. Um, yeah, I just need to take a little bit off the edges so it's not. <gasps> oh no. That's rough. That's fine. I'm still going to use it. Um, I'm still using it. I'm gonna take a little off the other side. <laughs> trying to finagle this. I think I cut off more on one end than the other. There. Okay. I'm gonna ink the edges. There we go. A little tear, but that's all right. And then what do I want for back here? I like, well, I like all of them. Put that back on quick. So I like these three, but I don't know. This one's going to be sideways if I use that one. So maybe not that one. Then we have this one or this one.
mean, these are more similar colors. Not that it matters, but. All right, I'm gonna have to do more trimming. Let's try not to rip it this time. Okay, how does this look? Oh, it's way too short. Gosh darn it. I cut off too much of the sides. Am I okay with that? I mean, I could just put it more off to one side and then put something over here. random strippy of something. Uh, I don't know. Or do I just go with this one? Because this just needs a, a wee bit of trimming. Eh. So we're going to put a few things over them. Okay, so there's our little booklet. And what else do we want to do? So we're gonna have specimen slides in here, but they're gonna flip, so we're, we will see this. Oh, and I also didn't think about this. I could put that there. Specimen? Or I could just stamp something. But I don't know what. I think I kinda like that. Yeah, let's just do it. Let's just do it. Right, there we go. And then, well, are we gonna, hang on, let me grab the slides. Okay, so here's the slides. It's gonna be, you know, when they're open, it's gonna be something like this. So you're gonna see this part. So is there anything we like specifically want sticking out? I could do more washi. Washi machine. Is that gonna stick out of this? A, yeah, a little bit, but that's all right. And then more of this one. I like that. It's so cute. And I think we'll do it down here as well. 
Okay, what else? It doesn't need like a ton of stuff. Ooh, I should have put brads and put this in and then glued it on. And I could have put brads in there. But now if I do it, the brads are gonna go all the way through. Um Oh, and I wanted more to add more green. I cut out some of these in greens as well, but put a number in green underneath it. Just a smidge of ink in. Okay, um, maybe we'll do more once I actually have everything put together, but what about this one? All right, everyone, it's actually the next day. My fiance got home from work a little bit earlier, and uh, he'd come in here and start talking to me, and while he was talking to me, I was still kind of fiddling around, so I kind of already figured out my next what I'm going to do on this page. So I'm just going to start gluing this stuff down and then we can get on to decorating the slides. So. But yeah, so while I, while I was trying to prepare uh, for this video, or when I got the idea for this video, I was like, okay, I need to make sure that I can fit two slides inside of a, the file folder. So I'm trying to find my, this die cut set. I couldn't find it anywhere. I was like looking everywhere, looking all around, couldn't find it anywhere. I'm like looking behind my desk, under my desk, looking behind, you know, all of my storage drawers and like literally digging out my paper pads and looking in between every single paper pad because I could not find this thing anywhere. And of course, of course, I finally, like I was digging through the garbage can and everything. I was like, oh my God, what if it fell in the garbage can? Like this is a, this is like a $30 die cut set. Uh, you know, like I can't afford to lose this thing. Um, like that would really suck. So I'm like looking everywhere, digging in the garbage. And then I had just like a few weeks ago, I had taken a big box full of, more cardboard and garbage and I had taken that and just set it in the fire pit so that the next time we light a fire um you know we're, we're just gonna burn that box and everything in it and uh so I was like what if it somehow got in there like I need to go check that box out there so I was going to go check out that in that box but I was like okay before I do that I'm gonna just just look around one more time and where was it? It was uh, in a spot I had already looked, of course. I just completely overlooked it. So I have this like plastic storage drawer, like three drawer organization thing, um, like a big one. Like it's big enough to hold 12 by 12 paper pads um, and there's more space. It's probably like at least 18 inches long because uh, you can fit a 12 by 12 pad plus extra. But anyways, so I like was looking behind it and there was a few things on the floor behind it, but like nothing that looked like it. And so I looked back there, like it was one of the first places I looked. It was back there. <laughs> I probably looked right at it. So that's awesome. Love it when that happens. But I was like freaking out. I'm like, this is really expensive. I can't afford to lose this. Like, I would have been. And then, of course, it's one of those things, like, if you do finally save up and repurchase it, then that's when you're going to find it. So, that's what happens. So, I'm, gl I'm glad I found it. But, a little bit of a scare there. And then, well, I was even, like, 
started like doubting myself and I'm like did I really buy it or am I just confusing myself and I only own like the envelope and the coin envelope die set kits or whatever and so then I'm like going in my Amazon history and I'm like trying to find where I placed the order because I couldn't even find like I knew I had like tested them out and everything and I'm like I'm pretty sure I have a file folder cut out from when I first bought it that I never used and I just tested it but I couldn't even find that couldn't even find that I was like losing my mind I'm like did I never actually buy this like did I just think that I bought it <laughs> I couldn't believe it but I found it it's all good this video almost didn't happen or I guess it would have happened it just wouldn't have been this project <laughs> okay and then I think I want to do some stamping maybe something up here and something here all right, I got field notes out. I could just throw out a number. Or what do I want? Video shipment collect. I was thinking about doing, well, I don't know if that'll fit. It like just fits. What if I just do shipment and then I do collect somewhere else? Right? Oh, now I need to clean this up. Now I just need something. What do we want up there? Um, I guess it could just be a number. Like a small one. Okay, so now that the inside of our file folder is done, we can start decorating our beads, our specimen slides, but we need to kind of figure out where they're going to go here. Try to stay organized. All right, so I think we need to start by adding some, just like figure one, figure two on each of the specimen slides, right? Um, let's see, this one's got figure one, figure, oh, you know what, actually, this one just never wants to stay in there. I've got, in my nature finds, there's figure one, two, and three, and they're all separate. Oh, actually, I just realized there's, and I only have up to three, and I have four specimen slides, okay. Well, that's fine. It's gonna have to be fine. We'll just use figure one twice. So we'll do figure one. Well, this will fold in half and it'll look like this when we're looking at it, right? So it's technically gonna be that. So, figure one. And I think this I'm actually just gonna put right on the picture. Figure one, okay? So that's that one. And then, I don't wanna be able to see figure one twice, which means this one can't be figure one, and this one can't be figure one, because technically, these two could be seen at the same time. They'd be like that, right? So that means, it means it has to be this one. This one has to be figure one also. 
right? Um, okay, now this one could be figure two and figure three. Okay, so what else? Oh, shoot, I'm making a mess here. Okay, so technically, these two, let's do these two first because this is what we'll see on the first page when these are flipped open. Not, we won't see this portion, but we'll see these two. Um, so. I think I'm going to put like a little bit of text kind of like and I might just sort of wing it I don't know that it needs to be I've never used this one I don't think so I need to kind of So these are just sort of like, I guess, notes, right? And then... Um, I suppose we could do like... little field notes. like a circle. Do I just go right over it? Yeah. What do we want like right here? Do, is that where we put like a number? else do we want anything like anything really small or I mean I still have all this space okay What else? Anything else? Still have Hold this big number here. I think so. They are. Do I need anything on this? I also have this guy. 
I wonder if this little number, or this one's kind of skinnier, I think. Or if I just wanted numbers, I could get dates out from the past. That's got small numbers on it. All right, Dates from the Past by Creative Expressions. Hmm. just fit. Let's try doing that. There we go. do for that I think so all right so that these are supposed to be flipped this way and then we got our bees so let's go back to field notes and let's get out oh I've never used this one I can't believe I've never used this one it's still in there okay do I just like I could I could just put that whole thing on there there we go look at that that's cute well that's that was easy <laughs> um but we need a number we need a number There we go. I do have this little guy. I could just like do these last couple of numbers. And then maybe this guy right up front or right on top. And then we need to do these two. And what do we want to do? I haven't used this guy yet. I'm thinking we get out the scripty bit again. This time I'll just kind of wing it. There we go. Yep. Hmm. Get out a little due date. Right. Um, I 
lower numbers. Look on that. Bam. Like they stamped it on. This has been filed. Okay. Oh, um, now I have stamps everywhere. Are we done with the stamping? Um, how did I say this was gonna go? This was gonna go this way, right? Yes. Do I would need to glue any extras on? I know I was gonna like. Oh, I should have really thought this through more. I could have put a brad, but now I would have to go through both of them, and I. There's just so much I could have done if I had thought the Brad situation out sooner. But it's too late now. So I think I'm just gonna glue it on. Okay, I think that's gonna be about that's gonna do it. I'm gonna clean up a little bit and then I'm gonna come back and we're gonna actually attach these things. And also, um, well, I, I guess I'm going to try. So I wasn't, before I started this project, I was considering putting brads in all of these holes because, you know, there are holes there and brads just seem like they go. But there's just not a lot of space in here. It'd be different if I, you know, was you didn't have to fold these, but, you know, brads don't fold at a 90 degree angle. They're 180 degrees. So... I, yeah, just, I'd have to cut all the legs off, and it just would have been a lot of work. But then I was like, I could try to glue little dots on there. So I do have these tiny little dots. They're actually from, what are they from? Not that, that's that. Mm, not that one. This one? This one. So they're actually from cutting out this circle and it's that tiny dot in the middle. That's what these are. So I don't have a tweezers, but I might try to glue those on. We'll see how that goes. And I'll be back in a minute. Okay, I'm back. I got the I got the dots on. So that's really cute. I, I cut these out of a uh, sort of a bronze metallic shimmery cardstock. So they, yeah, they kind of look like, they're like full brads that you just glue on. It's really cute. Um, okay. So I'm going to really simply sew these in. I'm honestly just going to do two holes, I think. And I'm just going to eyeball them. Two holes in each um, specimen card, that is. I should have used a bigger needle. Um, actually, I need to poke the other hole now, so I know where to come in. Okay. So, I'm just going to... out. I'm going to go in. And through here. Okay. And I'm just going to tie this like this. I'm not too worried. It's just one tiny specimen card. It doesn't need to be anything too fancy or special, I don't think. 
All right, here we go. This is our end result. It does not really stay closed, but we have our adorable little file folder with all of our specimens inside that we can flip through however we want. We have the front of the file folder here, not the front, but the inside, one of the insides. And over here is the back. We did not decorate the back back, but because I, I guess this is probably going to be glued down, but I guess you could also somehow attach this yeah, as a signature or something, but um, yeah, you just kind of flip through. So it's kind of like a little file folder, specimen card, booklet thingy, I have no idea what I'm going to call it, but I think it's cute. These are a little bulky, so they don't really like stay shut very well, but so I guess you could make, I don't know, a closure or something to kind of keep this together while it's in your journal but I really like how it turned out. Like I said you just flip through it. Yeah that's the project. All right I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know what other ideas you would like to see me create and I will see you guys next time. Goodbye!